Splinterlands is a collectible trading multiplayer card game that's kind of like a cross between Pokemon and World of Warcraft. And with me is the CEO and founder, Dr. Jesse Reich. So hey. great to see you it's here. Yeah. To be here. Thanks so, so much give me fun. a general overview of Splinterlands. Sure. So we're a trading card game, and we allow our players to play anytime, trade anytime, and they earn every win. And that's because we were built on a blockchain. And so all the in-game assets are NFTs. So it's it's like you know being part of that metaverse or being part of the world, but you actually own all the things. So uh, our, we started back in 2018. Uh, we have 1.4 million registered users, 750,000 paying customers. Um, we're one of the biggest dApps in the world. Uh, so there's a website, dapradar.com, and we're typically in the, the top three for, their, for any given day. Uh -huh. So decentralized app. Yeah, it's right, a decentralized so it's a app. So, um, so I introduced you as Dr. Jesse Reich. So you have a PhD in chemistry. Yeah, I took so, a weird way here. <laughs> so how did you go from that to gaming? So I, <laughs> I was teaching it college courses. Mm -hmm. I used the software in my class that helped my students. I told the publishing company, mm -hmm. uh, they hired me, and it launched like a 10 to 15 year publishing career. Um, and a lot of teaching students how to use complicated chemistry software is not that much different than teaching customers and, and clients and, and gamers how to use blockchain technology. Like it's big systems, complicated stuff, and educating one person at a time of here are the benefits, this is why we do it, here's your personal ownership, this is why, th this is how you're able to earn in the game. Like there's a lot of correlation between like teaching a college level class and teaching somebody about blockchain. Very interesting. Do you still teach? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, there's no time, so, yeah. there's no time. <laughs> so what was your core vision for the project when you first launched it? So uh, a couple years ago, I got really frustrated with this state of the world, and I said, there's too much war, um, there's too much poverty, and the, the surveillance state is really a, a terrifying thing, and the antidote to those things are peace, prosperity, and freedom. And what I wanted is to find a tool that did it, and crypto and cryptocurrencies in general and blockchain uh, enable those things better than anything else. And so I started asking, how would I be able to get people into that ecosystem? And gaming is by far the most um, you know, tangible way that a regular human being, somebody that hasn't been experienced at all with crypto, can go slide their foot in the door and then kind of stay for a life-altering experience. Mm -hmm. So we, we built this game to facilitate bringing in new players into the, into the ecosystem and the blockchain world and cryptocurrencies. And, um, and it's proven out that, you know, gaming, the people that know multiple currencies and games, they can handle multiple currencies and like crypto and, uh -huh. you know, the trading and the playing. Like gamers are actually, it's, it's the same nerd. The people that like blockchain stuff and the people uh -huh. that like gaming, it's the same yeah. guy. Very interesting. Um, explain a little bit about the earning in the game. How does that work? Oh man, we have so many different ways that you can earn, but, but essentially, you know, we have reward pools of tokens. And when you are battling in the game, uh, you're able to earn those tokens. So if you double your rank in the game, you octuple your rewards. So there's a huge incentive to try to build a really nice collection, spend a bunch of time in the game, and, and get as skillful as possible. So between those three things, players are, are driving towards you know, being the highest ranked. And every day, you know, they earn NFTs as part of that through daily quests. And every, day, or every two weeks, there's a season, and you get you know, fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens for completing well or competing well in the seasons. You get, um, uh, there's airdrops that happen. There's um, tournaments. So we've given away millions of dollars of, of prize money in tournaments. So between all of these things, you know, there's lots of players that are engaging in this. And, and also really unique to what we're doing is that uh, because there's so much that players can earn, there's a whole rental economy. So uh, players and, and sort of owners will purchase assets in the game specifically to rent them to other gamers. So, you know, we have a lot of young kids that all they want to do is just play the game. And we have a bunch of some of the older folks that maybe don't have time to play, but they want they have cash to own assets that they can rent out to, to the other players. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, I mean, what do you find the most rewarding part about the creation of this game and what you've been doing in the crypto blockchain area? Um, so the way that, that this whole earning and ownership has panned out is phenomenal. Um, in the last month, I've gotten maybe 
20 people now that have reached out to me to say, hey, dude, I just want to say thank you. This game has changed my life. I'm a millionaire now. Oh my God. And, um, <laughs> and it's been incredible. P.S. Please write tax software. So I've gotten a lot of those. I've also gotten pictures of like, um, there was one guy in the Philippines who sent me a picture of a bed and said, I'm no longer sleeping on the floor because of this game, hmm. thanks so much. And, and that earning potential is there from the smallest minnow account to the biggest whale account, and that's part of how we've designed our economy to work. And so really, it, people that are participating in this are able to, to earn more. It, it, like if they're earning, they're earning more than what they would in their home country for like, uh, you know, minimum wage style labor. They make more with us. And for whales, there's a lot of opportunity to, you know, hold assets, get get increased in for asset appreciation, rent out cards to uh, trade and flip and engage in this economy. And uh, we've we've helped a lot of people in our yeah, in our no, ecosystem do like really it. well. So how does somebody start the game? And is it too late? Like no. So we we have listings for our. We, we started blowing up as a game when we did a governance token launch. We put it on Binance Smart Chain, and lots of whales from all over the world started joining us in larger numbers than we've ever seen before. So we're on PancakeSwap and we're on SushiSwap, but we're not, um, we're not on any of the major centralized exchanges, so I think that there's still some, some big opportunities left for, for token holders there. Um, but no, I, I mean, we're... You know, we're only three years old, and like, if you walk outside and ask anybody that's kind of just walking the street what's play to earn, I mean, most people won't have any idea of what that is. So, mm -hmm. uh, no, I feel very much like we're still very early days in this, yeah. and um, we were just too, like, we started in 2018, so we were just nuts to be like, yeah. let's go build a game that does NFTs and yeah, really, like, yeah, that pioneer was very early, that. Yeah. So is it mobile? Uh, yep, there's a mobile app and um, uh, Android, iOS, okay. and then you asked how people start. You know, we, we try to, we live on a chain that doesn't have any gas fees, mm -hmm. so you don't have to own crypto first, mm -hmm. which means that you can just come in, sign up, uh, username and password, and you can swipe credit cards and get started in the game. Okay, just download Splinterlands. I can yeah. look for it on... Yep. Or, or you just go through like browsers, traditional okay. browser. You just go to splinterlands.com. The whole thing is browser based, yeah. it, and it also has a uh, a mobile application as well. But mm -hmm. you know, you just go to splinterlands.com and come start playing the game. Some like cart, start earning. It, mm -hmm. It's a uh, we, we're our entire design is that we want to be the entryway for anybody new into crypto. So we've gone to great lengths to try to make that as simple as possible for yeah. people. Okay, thank you so much, Jesse, for yeah. coming in. Thanks for having okay. me.